Hey guys, and welcome back to Ellie Knows Rocks. I am standing in Nasarsarat, Greenland on a fjord beach. <laughs> and today we're going to talk about the difference between long wave and short wave UV light and how it interacts with soda light, also known as Uperlite in the States, usually found around Lake Michigan. People covet these rocks because they glow and they're beautiful. They look like they're on fire. And so today we're just going to discuss a little bit about those. So thank you so much for being part of my adventure. Let's go see what we find. Now you totally might be asking about my getup. Well, here in Greenland, we're close to Nuuk. Uh, we're in Nasarsarak. It was a World War II base and the mosquitoes are fierce. They want to carry you away. Their stings are not great and it kind of sucks. So I have on my cap, <laughs> my mosquito net and my waterproof jacket. I have some pants on a fair amount of bug spray around the ankles because I have been getting bit to death. It hasn't been great. Now, there is a chance of rain. That's not gonna happen to us. <laughs> so we are waiting for it just to get a teensy bit darker so that we can check out this beautiful soda light in this awesome area. And let me show you the rocks and what they look like before we start to shine a black light on them. They look like regular old rocks, right? Exactly. Now we're going to come back with a black light to this exact area. And the rocks we're looking at are these. Almost a granitoid looking rock, right? Maybe those right there. Maybe even that one. However, you don't really know until you get a black light on them. I am really hoping to find some beautiful glowing bright orange soda light out here this evening as soon as it gets a little bit darker. But just so you know, the rocks look completely normal when you're looking at them. Who knew that they were going to start glowing bright orange? It's absolutely crazy. So far walking around where I've been staying in the hotel, the ground looks like it's on fire at night if you take a black light out to it. Now these are the two lights we're going to be testing out. This light here I'm borrowing and it is a long wave UV light. This light right here is just the type of light you get to look for scorpions in Arizona, a short wave UV light. Now, both of these react extremely differently to soda light. And just in a little bit, I'm gonna show you why. Now, long wave produces a wavelength that is 320 to 400 nanometers. And short wave produces a wavelength that is 254 nanometers. Now it's getting to be about that time of the evening where we can start to see some stuff. So we're going to shine the light over some areas. See how you can see it flickering off of the seaweed there. See, oh wait, I think we found something. Oh, check that out. Wait, where's my camera? Huh? See that? Regular old rock, right? it glows. Oh wow, that one glows even stronger. Check that out. Let's grab those little puppies. There to go. But pretty hard to see if you don't have the light. This guy there, and this one. Those are kind of cool. Isn't that neat? Let's see what else we can find. Now all I do is sweep the flashlight back and forth across the ground until I see something that catches my eye. It's a pretty easy technique. 
Anything that's glowing bright red is seaweed, and anything that's glowing kind of that bright blue or white color are seashells. Look at that. That's crazy. I guess it's just the edge right there that's glowing. Let's flip it over. Oh no, the whole thing's glowing, goodness sake. <laughs> that's cool. Oops. Now this is honestly not the right time of day to be doing this. It should be darker outside. And the reason for that is you would really see them glow a lot better, but we will, oh, there's one right there, check it out. Look at that. Look how pretty that guy is, that is pretty cool. I'm gonna pick him up, cause he's pretty neat. And we're gonna take all these over. Oh, there's another one. Check it out. And we will test them in just a second. We'll collect some more down here first. I want a big one, guys. Like, I want something that just shows something huge, you know? Oh, wait. There's one. Oops. Look at that. That's pretty neat. You can definitely see the ground start to glow a little more as you run the UV over it. Ooh, there's one that's glowing like that's buried. That's cool. So we'll... Okay, so it is now 10, 11, 12. It's now 10 o'clock. I have my uh, phone <laughs> set to... Um, a 24 hour clock because everybody uses that here and I was kind of lost when they kept telling me what time to be somewhere so now I'm on 24 hour clock but in America it is 10 or in Greenland it's 10 it's five hour difference over there however you can really start to see the glow of the rocks you can kind of see how the sun's gone down a bit there's not as much of a glow let me show you what I'm talking about so you see that? Oh, that starts to glow. Isn't that cool? So that one is actually pretty neat. So we'll pick that guy up. Where'd it go, where'd it go? It, you can only really see them with the black light. So like when I put the black light down to hold the camera, you can't see it as well. Look at that orange. Isn't that neat? All right, let's find some more. Like you can see the ground glowing a bit. Ooh, that one has a lot of fire. See that little bitty guy? Woo, yikes. And that right there. So we're looking for like that bright orange one, but bigger. Oh, look at that guy. He's kind of light yellow, that's neat. See if we can pick that up. He's cute. So that's cool. Cute orange guy. Little bit of an orange guy, but I want a big one. I want to find a big one, and I think going over there a little bit is going to find us a bigger one. So let's talk a little bit about why soda light glows under UV light. First off, Soda light is normally kind of a royal blue color, but can be found in pale peaches, tans, and grays. And this particular mineral fluoresces underneath UV light, which means the soda light absorbs the UV light and then emits it at a different wavelength, which is why it appears to have that fiery orange color. Soda light is one of several feldspathoid minerals that form in a sodium rich magma that contains so little silicon and aluminum that quartz and feldspar are often absent. The reason that this sodalite is on the beach is because it was brought here by glaciers. Sodalite 
is not natural in the Sarsa at Greenland, but instead was transported here by the ice. I want you guys to kind of see them with me, hopefully as I find a good one. Like, we're looking for something big, neat, spectacular, you know, you guys know what I'm into. Oh, nope, piece of plastic. Like, there's still fishing line out here and that kind of stuff, you know, I mean, we are in a very big fishing country. So, of course, there's a lot of fishing stuff out here. Um, the, the stuff that you're seeing is just the seaweed. But I'm looking for a big one. Come on. What's up? That bright orange one, oh my gosh. These are really great examples of soda light, guys. These are gorgeous. Holy cow, look, you can even see it in the sand. Isn't that insane? Ooh, ooh, there's another one back there. Oh my gosh. Interesting, check this out. Look at that. And then look, once you shine a light on it, how it just starts to glow. And all the little orange guys right beside it. Mm -hmm. See? Isn't that neat? Okay, I got right down here by the shoreline, guys. Watch this. Holy crap. Like that glows, but that is what we're looking for. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's so beautiful. Now this is one of those times where I'm really grateful that I was recording what I was doing. Because to be honest, when I was first looking at this video, I was like, wait a minute, I missed so many pieces that were glowing right in front of me. I couldn't even believe that I passed up half of what I shined the light over. Goodness sake, this was not a bright moment for me. Ew. I see the bug with bite in my hand. Shame. Look at that, guys. Wow. Isn't that insane? Look at the color. <laughs> oh, wow, look at that one. Wow, that's a bright ember. Not the brightest rock, but it's still fluoresces with black light. Check out this guy. That is, that's huge. Let's see what he looks like out of the ground. Let's see if we can do this. Wow. So we've got some red, orange. Some really interesting yellow. Holy cow. He's big too. Wow, that's beautiful. Let me look at this guy. I love these little ones just right here all of a sudden. Oh, look at this. Wow. Hmm. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's crazy, huh? Hmm. That's pretty neat. 
Okay, so I'm getting out some of the rocks that we found earlier that glow and that are pretty and all that stuff. Now, I've found all of these using the long wave UV light because it's a lot easier to see them from far away than it is using the short ray UV. So in just a second, that those guys are out. Let me in my pocket. Good grief. <laughs> Of course I can't grab it. Okay. Sorry for the jiggliness of the camera. I'm trying to balance it in between my legs at the moment. I'm not doing the best job. Okay. So this is going to be the long wave UV. See how they're bright, shiny, like the orange, the red, all of these beautiful colors, right? Like, you should be able to see those really, really well. Let me see. That one. Now that. That guy is spectacular. Way outshines the rest. Okay, now that's the long wave. You see how great it is. Now prepare to be completely underwhelmed. Short wave. Can't barely see this at all. You can kind of see that glow. You can barely see this. Like you can just see that one, that's it. You can kind of see that. So shortwave UV is not a good light for soda light, as you can tell. I mean, you can almost see that's orange. I don't know if you can see that in the camera. I mean, that one's, that's high quality right there. That's awesome. And so again, long wave, woo! It's like lighting up the night. Isn't that an amazing comparison? And it's a, that's just blinding that one. It's crazy. Okay, one more time to be underwhelmed. Dun, 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 dun. It's just almost like shining a purple light over it. It's just not as great. So if you're gonna go hunting for soda light, go hunting with a short or a long wave UV light. Do not use a short wave, short wave UV light like you get for hunting for scorpions. All right, guys, it is getting quite dark. Thank you so much for coming along on this adventure. I hope you learned something. I hope it was fun. I hope the video wasn't too terribly horrible for y'all. And I hope you learned something about soda light and long wave and short wave UV and trying to find it. Let's see you all later. Here is the normal ground, and here's the ground with a long wave UV. Look at some of those. Wow, this is much further away from the beach, and you just get some of them that are blinding. It's amazing. Okay, getting back to the room, here are the beautiful glowing pieces of sodalite. This guy that's purple, not exactly sure what that is yet. Some of the more yellow ones from the beach, that bigger one. Yeah, so this was a fantastic score.